Our country is in mourning after another mass shooting. Five people killed, nearly 20 injured in a targeted attack inside a Colorado Springs nightclub popular with the LGBTQ plus community. Tonight, that community is calling for support, solidarity and safe spaces to connect. KPRC 2 Taisha Walker live in Montrose. And Taisha, there's also a call here at home for action at the state level. Lisa, I spoke with one local business owner and community member who says it's going to take more than prayers and just thoughts to prevent a shooting like the one that happened in Colorado Springs from happening here. Christopher Berry is the owner of Buddies in Montrose, the bar named Buddies because it's a safe space where all are welcome. Schools are being shot up, churches are being shot up, bars are being shot up. Um, we're not alone in the struggle for having safe spaces to Barry says the Club Q Colorado shooting is tragic and he'd like to see state lawmakers and the governor take action to prevent such a shooting here. His first year in office, he enacted a um, engine interlock system to help prevent drunk driving. That is a good cause. He can do the same for gun violence. Police Chief Troy Finner says his officers are willing and able to increase patrols to help the LGBTQ plus community feel safer. No, uh, no identified threats here. Um, we have a, a great community. Mark Tobin with the Anti-Defamation League says the LGBTQ community is twice as likely to encounter hate-based harassment. All those people who, who spread lies and information and false narratives and and try to pass laws that exclude LGBTQ plus people. They're accomplices. The Montrose Center, with the help of the LGBTQ Chamber of Commerce, are working to plan a vigil this Wednesday night. We are still waiting to learn the time and location. As soon as we learn that information, we'll be sure to pass it along to you. For now, reporting live, Taisha Walker, KPRC 2 News.